We are so lucky to be connected through the Bay Area watershed from the Eastern Sierras all the way to the Bay and Ocean. Um, but what that means is that there are more access points for pollution to meet the water as it flows from the Sierras down to the Bay and Ocean. It's a lot of opportunity for trash to get picked up, for oil and chemicals to get picked up along the way. Um, we're talking 75,000 square miles of land, and that's so much space. So many different humans take up that space, and humans, we're messy people. We leave things behind that water can simply pick up and carry. It's a beautiful thing that we're connected through this water, but we need to be careful and respectful with how we're interacting and engaging with it. If you live in a city or an urban watershed, you might not be able to see creeks or the bay or ocean from your home, but chances are you'll be able to find a few storm drains around your neighborhood. Here in the East Bay, those storm drains carry rainwater through underground pipes straight into creeks and the bay without filtering it or cleaning it. And water isn't the only thing that ends up in storm drains, right? What else do we find on the ground in a city? Maybe some natural items like sticks, leaves, or dirt, but also pollution like car oil, fertilizers, trash, soap that washes off from cars when people wash them in their driveways. Anything that can be washed away when it rains ends up in storm drains, which go directly to creeks and the bay. For example, let's follow a juice bottle as it becomes pollution and moves through a watershed. After a boy accidentally misses throwing it in the recycling, he slips into a storm drain. It flows through underground pipes until it empties out into a local creek where it floats until it ends up in the San Francisco Bay and eventually the ocean. All of this pollution is harmful to fish and other animals that need healthy creeks and a healthy bay to live in, but it's also bad news for people. It makes it dangerous for us to eat the fish that we catch in the bay and unsafe to swim at the beach. Closer to home, having pollution and trash littering the ground creates an unhealthy and not very beautiful place for us to live. And if too much trash gets stuck in the storm drains, it can cause flooding, which makes it dangerous for the people who are trying to walk or bike or drive through the streets. The good news is because pollution comes from people, people have the power to stop it. We can change how our cities are built and the types of products we use to create a healthy watershed that can provide clean, fresh water to all the people, plants, and animals who live here. This change won't be easy and it will take a lot of us working together, but every person who cares and makes an effort to keep pollution out of our watersheds is taking a step in the right direction.